Hello, good afternoon. Emirates FA Cup sees Bournemouth enter away at second bottom championship side Queen's Park Rangers. Today, the expectation always all on Bournemouth. And a proud day for David Brooks. He is also captaining the Cherries, leading them out of the tunnel. Cherries 31 places above Queen's Park Rangers in the league pyramid. Sinister and Billing play a 1 2 and Billing with a left footed shot just past the right hand post. Down this right hand side, Armstrong again. This time he's up against Senesi and he holds off Senesi and Armstrong into the penalty area and Sinclair Armstrong has given QPR the lead. Four minutes to go until half time and Aarons wants some help and Dykes is into the penalty area here. QPR on the crest of a wave and they've gone two up as Lyndon Dykes' right footed shot deflected off Max Aarons. And all of a sudden, in the space of a couple of minutes, the Cherries Emirates FA Cup campaign is already hanging by a thread. And Bournemouth are going to have to come from a long way back here. And that is half time. So for the Cherries at the moment in danger of heading out of the cup. They're 2 0 behind at QPR. Randoni Irola has had to turn to his bench at half time. Ryan Christie and Justin Cliven are both on. He worked to Sinistera, left side of the penalty here for the Cherry. Sinistera, left side of the six yard box. He's cut back a couple of times. He wins a corner off Aaron Drew on this near side. The Boskin back of the net chart rings out from behind that goal away to our left. It's a short corner to Billing. Flick back to the penalty spot, driven by Tavernier. And Bournemouth straight back in the game. It's always the reaction what you show, and I think today you see the reaction what we show is. Uh... It's the team spirit we have and it's uh, beautiful to come back like this. We just needed to, 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 to do what we know, um, how to press. We know what, what, to, what he expects from us, you know. And first half we had some difficulties and we get some goals also. And just the second half our mindset was different. Uh, me and Ryan came on and we just did everything to help the team to, to change the mindset. And we did. It's going to be Alex Scott with the corner. In front of the two tiered away and into the near post and into the back of the net. Off the glancing head of Kiefer Moore. So, game on. Uh, this is about survival, no? this kind of competitions. And uh, today we were really in danger. We were under pressure in half time, but it's good that we kept our mentality in, in the right place and uh, we could uh, turn the, the things. Numbers arriving at the back post and Justin Kleiber puts Bournemouth in front. Those moments, I, I wait on those moments, you know. With Phil's quality, I don't, I don't, I know the ball will arrive at me also, so I'm always happy. So it's a massive away end, and there were like 3,000 AC Bournemouth fans there, and they, they were in fine voice. Yeah, they have been amazing today, they have been amazing, and I'm happy that they could enjoy at the end, no, because uh, for sure, like we were in the, in the bench, you know, we were suffering, especially at half time, under a lot of pressure, and uh, I think they pushed us a lot, you know, when. They created this momentum now when we were having the chances, we scored the first one and luckily for us now we could score the, the three goals. Bournemouth secure their passage through to the fourth round of the FA Cup. It finished here at Loftus Road, Queen's Park Rangers 2, Bournemouth 3.